This, this is right here is where it gets exciting. Everything they've put some thought into. So instead of just sliding these out of the elastic holders, there's a little bit of Velcro down here to make it easier to get it out. We've seen these kinds of poles on center loaded coil antennas, but they put the little caps on the ends to protect the threads. That's nice. Oh, look at that. The end of this is actually beveled over to make it easier to get it started when you're screwing it together. It just makes you want to take good care of it. This here is the coil itself. So it's designed to be weatherproof. So everything is inside of the, the coil there. I mean, wow, you could, you could hurt somebody with that if you wanted to. This piece here is only a little tiny bit smaller than the regular poles, but check this out. This right here, this is the adjusting mechanism for the coil. Slides up and down. It's got some markings on it so you can tell where it is you're starting and stopping and take some notes. I wanna go three up, three up is 20. I'm making a number up here. Five up is 30 and I'm actually going in the wrong direction too. It's just an example. Six up is 40, etc. So you kind of take some notes when you're out in the field. You can do some fine tuning real easy. You can kind of feel that, listen to this. You can hear that it's clicking as it passes over each wire inside of the coil. And then we have our adapter, which is also our ground stake. And so it's got a nice cover over it so you don't stab yourself. Pretty sharp end, not too sharp, but sharp enough that I'd, I'd be careful with. SO239 connector, and then this screws into one of those vertical rods. But again, you could put a hurting on somebody with that. It has a whip antenna. This whip antenna is seven and a half foot long but if you take a look at it it's got the double crimp on there so you're not going to pull it out of the base and they did the same thing that other good manufacturers do the top section is as thick as they could make it they didn't pull pieces off of the bottom to make it short they pulled pieces off of the top to make it short and seven and a half feet really isn't all that short actually now another one of the things that stands out about this is it comes with coax there's the manual it comes with coax and it actually comes with an adapter to get you to BNC. So there's some coax there. I'm going to say it's RG58, but there's no marking on it and there's no indication on the website, but it is nice and flexible and easy to work with. And then the ground radial system, it's not one of those ribbon cable things. And they're actually using three millimeter banana plugs on there. I'm going to get this thing set up and then we're going to get it on the air.